Hello everyone! Today I'll transform a waffle maker into a culinary wizard. I've got 7 quick, delicious recipes that go beyond breakfast. Let's get started! And I'll start with an interesting and very juicy corn sandwich. To begin, take a can of corn. I have a small one. Drain the liquid and put it in a bowl. Then add 2 to 3 tablespoons of mayonnaise, mozzarella cheese and a bit of salt to enhance the flavor. Now mix everything thoroughly. Next, prepare the toast bread, slightly pressing it down. Yes, that's right, to fit more filling in. Place a slice of cheddar at the bottom, our mixture, more cheddar cheese and then bread on top. Send it all to the waffle iron for 5 minutes. And voila! Here are the crispy and juicy sandwiches I got. Look at our filling stretching. It's worth a try. Next recipe, which I highly recommend for its incredible taste, is our golden crispy potato ham waffle. Start by preparing the potatoes, then grate the potatoes on a fine grater. Next, immerse the grated potatoes in ice water to extract the excess starch. Using a draining bag like this, squeeze out the liquid thoroughly and transfer the potatoes to a bowl. Next, grate cheddar cheese into the grated potatoes. Then chop the ham and add it to the bowl. And the main ingredient – melted butter. It will give the dish flavor. Also, add salt and pepper to taste. Mix everything thoroughly and lay the mixture on the waffle iron and fry for about 10 minutes. And look at them! Such a bright golden color of the potatoes, fried in butter. Yes, this taste is worth trying. And for the final touch, listen to the irresistible sound of the crust crackling. The next recipe is very easy and, by the way, it has only three ingredients – cheese, egg and garlic. For this, we need to grate the cheese. I have one half cup of mozzarella and one third cup of parmesan.
add grated cheese to the mixing bowl, also add one egg and one clove of garlic. Mix everything thoroughly, then heat the waffle iron and lay out our mixture. These waffles cook very quickly, in just 3 to 4 minutes. Here they are, crispy on the outside and cheesy on the inside. By the way, this is a keto recipe, so it's suitable for a diet. The next recipe will be with a surprise. Let's go! Let's prepare the garlic. It needs to be finely chopped. Next, finely chop half an onion. Transfer all this to a bowl and here's a surprise. Can it tuna in pieces. Drain the excess liquid and add to the bowl. Then add two eggs to the bowl. Then add salt to the taste. And the last ingredient is two to three tablespoons of flour. Now thoroughly mix everything together before we move on to the waffle iron. And the last step. Lay it out on the waffle iron and cook for about 5 to 7 minutes. Pay attention to the fact that they will increase in size. The egg will add volume. Here are such beautiful waffles. Soft and tasty. Now let's try something intriguing. Who knew this was even possible? Take either frozen french fries or leftovers. Arrange them in the waffle iron and then sprinkle a generous amount of cheddar cheese on top. If using frozen fries, cook them in the waffle iron for 10 minutes. If they are already cooked, just wait until the cheese melts. And voila! It's all done! Up next is a recipe that's both satisfying and delicious. First, let's create the waffle base. Combine one cup of flour, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of salt and half a tablespoon of baking powder. Then mix in one egg and one and a third cups of buttermilk until you achieve a smooth consistency. For the second stage, heat some oil in a skillet and cook 400 grams of minced meat for about 10 minutes. Next, add 3 tablespoons of tomato paste, salt and chili pepper flakes to your liking. Once well mixed, stir in 4 tablespoons of butter. Combine this savory mixture with the dough.
Then cook in the preheated waffle iron for about 5 minutes. These hearty waffles are sure to be both tasty and energizing, perfect for a full day's fuel. Up next, we're embracing the corny side of things. Begin with a can of corn, draining off any excess liquid. In a bowl, combine the corn with mayonnaise, feta cheese and cheddar cheese. Then add 2 tablespoons of cornstarch, 1 teaspoon of paprika and 1 third of a teaspoon of chili pepper for a flavorful twist. Mix everything well and fry in a waffle iron for 4 to 5 minutes. As you remove these delightful waffles from the iron, handle them with care. They are deliciously delicate and wonderfully corny. I like to serve them with feta cheese. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share it on your social media.